I'm on my way to the Play Store. Um, gonna go pick up some of my outfits that I had dropped off over at the Play Store. Um, I just uploaded one of my favorite um, Pandora playlists of uh, exotic dancing if you guys are into learning about the kind of music that we listen to at the clubs and at the on the dance floor the stairs um, the runway you know whichever um, place you guys are into um, I got it uh, for you guys uploaded that way you guys can get a feel of um, the kind of music that we do listen to here in Arizona um, as an exotic dancer for me um, I do a lot of the um, topless uh, versus the fully nude most girls um, different names of performers, stages, and strippers um, will come fully dressed or fully nude. It just depends what kind of a female or male uh, exotic or adult person you are looking for, but I did upload a version of a playlist kind of uh, music. Uh, that way you are able to get a I guess a rope of what you are into when it comes to Arizona girls, females, adults, males, um, boys. It just depends wherever you're at. It just kind of will go in that kind of direction for you. Um, I'm sure as you would request anything on the radio uh, chances are you might not get the music you are looking to receive but otherwise um, there had been many you know vice versa situations where people will want to play certain musics but it had to always get back to the um, people on air to play the kind of music you were uh, hoping to get. So get a chance and a feel of what you should be expecting when you come to the club, strip club, or any place, um, theater, motel, hotel of your um, preference. Um, like I said, many a lot of it are, comes in different prices, value, um, and it just depends on the of your work. You know, you put in the work, you will receive a lot of it in return. You don't want to put in a specific kind of work with the um, company or the people you uh, provide your services to, then chances are um, you will not get the kind of uh, feedbacks that you will so um, there are many there are many uh, differences where people are able to um, get like a disc like let's say we are at the club or we're getting ready to perform a certain kind of performance the situation with that is there could be many issues and problems and an example by myself um, my name is Sharon the the thing that people will always remember about me is that I tend to enjoy a little bit too much of 
you know, the kind of style where it's not really that uh, has a popularity kind of uh, interest when it comes to people who are into the exotic, the dancers, the outfits, the motion, the pictures, the sexual things when it comes to uh, your personality. So, so just depending on your practice of the the career you choose to provide for the people and in society is pretty much going to be the outcome of what you will forever and always receive. Um, I've learned that you will um, come in between with a lot of uh, situations and people where as some things can be too loud and you just want to get up, you want to leave, that's by choice. Um, but in another person's conversation, um, the reason why we perform and we try to act out a lot of things that will admire the time left of a performer or let's say a dancer we just try to we try to give the audience the most that they um, are there for and not only did um, I not know that from the beginning from when I had always started um, learning about music um, but it's actually a true kind of uh, story myth and uh, etc because for a really long time, a person who is the most um, dominant to a situation will and consume a kind of um, personality that will that will not only change but give you that sense to where it's just a situation, it's just the matter of time, and it's just a song, it's just a dance. Not only does everybody know that when they are paying you, giving you tips, or um, drinking in front of you, eating in front of you, it's just their time, and it's their it's their their own peaceful moment um, another note that I wanted to warn people about that um, there could be a lot of false alarms when it comes to false alarms um, many times false alarms to me are situations that are are able to, they're they are situations where you can consolidate with um, each other, you know. Um, I never learned that growing up that very well because I wasn't too sure my mind was in the right direction, not knowing that everything that I wanted to do was already done for me. So there are many steps to becoming sober, and there are many steps to becoming um, uh, helpful to each other when you are in need, and there are many situations you need to watch out for when you are not in need. So I always, um, when it comes to receiving tips from people, I don't 
I don't expect anybody to uh, beat around the bush or not allow me to uh, perform or do what I am supposed to do. Um, but I do expect that um, even when I am around or not around, I kind of want the same from other people. And I have a lot of things that I regret and I still do have a lot of things that I don't that I will never regret and with that being said and summing everything up um, you just have to try and you have to uh, kind of just like let yourself uh, imagine that it's not the end of the world you know not everybody um, lives or pays the same bills um we don't want and buy the same things but we do need um, the same and the most important thing that i can remind myself every day is that um, money is the root of all, all evil you know um you will see that um, from your future all the way to your past and it just continues and continues and continues. But you have to wake up one day and you have to prove and tell yourself that um, the, the path between you and um, God is... is um, is what it already is you know it kind of you kind of can't just let uh, one person change your mind for one minute two minutes three minutes four minutes five minutes six minutes seven minutes eight minutes nine minutes no you have to kind of like allow yourself to become the person you told yourself you would never become and you stick with um, there are many things where I become very emotional and shy when it comes to teaching people how to act and how to perform a certain kind of situation from the positive to the negative to anything. But in God's own words, um, he is no longer there to control you. He is not there to remind you, and he is no longer there to uh, help you. Um, there used to be a saying where whenever you needed God, all you needed to do was like cry on his shoulders. Yeah, those days for people are, I don't know, they, from my point of view, they're not they're not for me you know I can't wake up one day and get on snapchat and say hey can somebody help me talk to God can somebody help me find God it's very impossible it gives me a lot of butterflies in my stomach it makes me sick it doesn't make me um, it doesn't help me remind myself that anything is real um, but I grew up um, a lot of my childhood lifestyle in the uh, Sacramento, um, California area. Um, I spent a, I spent a lot of my time um, finding out who I really was, um, not who I really am, or who I never want to know see or feel but as uh we and the story goes on the nobody waits for anybody um today we are here at 2022 no matter what ever happens from the beginning to the past that situation is dead and gone um tomorrow we wake up and we remind ourselves that the next year we have next year 2023 and the list goes on and on and on yeah 
life is hard, and the reason why it is so hard is because we, as people, enjoy too many of the same things all at the same time. So when I tell somebody that I become to feel um, very happy, very emotional, very giggly, they will always remember that about me. Now, for a person who is my size and who will always uh, be uh, in my life uh, are the people who, you know, who don't don't allow people to leave an empty road for the terrorism of the U.S. And with that being said, uh, many of my lifetime experiences, I will tell somebody to their face that I never liked them, but as a part of my culture and as a part of my time that I have here left today, I don't believe that anybody will ever take that away from me. So when you come to a show or when you're able to perform a certain type of dance situation, uh, something to entertain, um, you know, between the lines of um, an empty soul, an empty mind. Um, that's where the business begins. Um, but until you will, until you prove that you um, are here as a tip man, tip woman, because uh, everything today in Arizona is 21 and up, as we can see. So, moving along, if I had an age in my life to go back into time to see the only light bulb that I ever had, uh, that would be when I was a little seven-year-old uh, trying to, you know, speak, breathe, be whoever, and I'm happy with that. I, there's nobody here today that could possibly make me hit something hard enough to break. But there are people around that are willing to break out that same type of emotion, that same type of feel. And you have to find that open space. You know, you have to allow that people, allow them to express and learn that maybe life never will be just as important as any volunteer or anybody who will just want to move in. Like, let's say for an example, again, my name is Sharon. I'm from Arizona and I am a U.S. travel travels um, person. Um, to receive any service from a person like me, uh, you are you can discriminate the way I speak, the way I look, the way I feel, the way I take pictures, the way I shake, the way I move, the way I listen, the way I do anything. But as a part of my entire time in a place like I am safe, secure, and I have manners. Um, not that I have to squash or 
create anything for anybody anymore. Um, there's one thing about me, somebody, the next person will always remember and know that there's no way you will allow somebody to, that is younger or older than you to tell you that you are not able to do um, something. So I moved along with that. Um, may sound very dramatic, but I'm I'm barely um, I'm barely I'm that I'm close enough to to um, invest in a situation or a um, culture that not only one person, two person, three person, four person, or even five person, but all six people in a situation uh, could never take uh, the only pride in um, the world that when you hurt and destroy and continue manipulate and um, make fun of something of somebody's uh, that's a big no-no that's when you have to stand up and tell yourselves no matter who I am I'm always going to be one person I'm always going to have one person for me I'm always going to rely on myself whether I can't walk whether if I can talk whether I can see feel eat breathe it it's a one-on-one -on -one situation nobody wins in the situation um, you kind of you live it up and you do it yourself um, another thing uh, back to the career and the choices and decisions we all make today um, we all want to be successful we all want to you know one day throw up our graduation cap and say oh hey we made it you know but those days for people are very uh, they seem very ruthless you know it's kind of like you want to go you want to go for them you want to like believe in them you want to like trust them but the things about people that you will never know is that you will always remember that no matter who you are in this world nobody is going to tell you that you are not beautiful you are not successful you are do not have a career you can't do it yourself you there are many things you can um, by discontinuing uh, somebody uh, uh, top bottom to the floor to the door to whatever you create whatever God has made for you whatever God wants to make for you um, is a situation you deal with yourself um, the time that I was here from the time that I uh, was not here I had a very bad experiences with um, let's say you can say um, the chain supply of many other people who don't believe in themselves now I could I could tell you that I do know uh, who anybody is or nothing like that but um, I have been open to many opportunities and situations and today it has be a thing I would say that it is my own beeswax you know like sometimes uh, I get a lot of maybe you could say anxiety um, you know adult depression adult stress but I overcome those things you know I I allow my I have the voice for it I work for it I've worked a lot of my time to tell myself that you know 
it doesn't matter if you're walking down the street or if you're flying your own jet one day it doesn't matter one day somebody will come up to you and remind you that you are just as beautiful as you say you are now it's none of anybody's business to know that that's how people feel when they are around other people because it hurts them but in reality that's just how life is you put in that special kind of spiritual work that you say you will do you say you will have and you get your benefit in return many of the um, times that I get stressed and I just want to you know take a bunch of selfies and do this and that but those days for me are very far out um, in the in the openness you know I kind of don't want to have to tell myself that I get a little bit angry uh, so I you know tell myself oh I'll go get some crab today you know so I can you know taste some something cool and delicious you know but it's just uh it's just somebody else's culture you don't get to know them a little bit and you're kind of like oh yeah they're they're cool you know and then you're like that's nice you know but then you always have to remember the person that you are person who you don't want to be and the person that doesn't like you <laughs> so you want to that's the practice of um, many of situations where we all need uh, that special light in our lives um, I have this monitor right here I tried uh, turning it on but it keeps it flicks at you you know it goes like back and forth all the time so you gotta watch out for that you know um, some of my special techniques that I have that I will show you today are I one thing people always know about me is I love 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 my UBS cords these cords will turn anything on at the right time not that I am that into you know things like this or anything like that but they are very helpful when you are needing it to just remind yourself to have a good day you know reminding yourself that the light of anything like let's say one day you wanted to create your own exhibit your butterfly exhibits or anything like that you just have to log on to amazon and say hey alexa would you allow me to purchase this huge outdoor air conditioning butterfly exhibit and then you pay them the money and they'll come in and install it for you just like i do this myself oh yeah I have another one too this one she's really cute i have not named any of them they're not angels they are very very old these rocks are so old i don't know how old they are but they are so old yeah. and um yeah so like i said anybody like you guys or me that need the more extra practice and you know just that like mental boost it's really out there you just have to allow yourself to boo 
to just be somebody, you know, just be them for one day, maybe two days, and you're like, okay, <laughs> I can't do it no more, okay, that's fine, you can't do it, you don't want to do it, but you don't have to, you don't have to always be haunted by it, you know, not many of us believe in costumes, like, if it were to me, I'd quit my job every single day, you know, I... As a person, um, you know, who um, believes in the holidays and believes in, you know, just like spending that extra time with people, um, not everybody in today's society believes in that. So you have to watch that out too. So, um, like I was saying, these are some of my famous um little rhinestones these rhinestones were specially uh made by um myself uh i chose this design uh around my eyes just because um sometimes when i'm having like a bad day i just like put these on and they begin to like remind me of a lot of um, uh, how how like how how would you feel think or like you know if somebody uh, made you something on their own time and I took these into consideration because I not only did I wanted to uh, remind myself that as hard as work can be sometimes yeah, not everything in the uh, world is that crazy so um family members okay let's begin with our family members my family okay is very 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 very, 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 uh, sticky. Yes, yes. Okay, when it comes to the word sticky, as I am saying today, <laughs> the reason why I, I would consider a sticky type of lifestyle is because many of us, uh, we kind of, we worked a little bit too, um, hard you know when it comes to far it became to a point where many of our uh, lifestyles <laughs> became somebody else's and you know when you evalu evaluate those situations in the public you never it's not funny and you don't want that happening to other people you know so anyhow, moving on to another story of mine that uh, nobody will ever know about <laughs> is that I am very, um, I'm very anal when it comes to people telling me that I get like an adult kind of like, you know, monstrous attitude where I kind of like don't admire that very well <laughs> okay I have a culture of my own where it kind of like um will not be that bad to explain but it's very emotional when I talk about my lifestyle it's because you know, you grow up into an adult from when you are little, from when you are small, from when people used to take care of you, when people used to feed you, when people used to call you fake. Yeah, all of that. But things change, you know, and what you get is what you receive, is what you get receive. What you receive is what you get. But we go back to the story where we talk about the violence and the terrorism and many crazy things that happen around the world, okay? 
So you are a person who is supposed to uh, believe that, for an example, father to son to mother to maiden name. Okay? So, maiden name to son to father to mother and the generation goes on and on and on which is cool but the moral of the story is supposed to happen because the matter of the time that we spend reading and donating to people who don't appreciate the society of the work that everybody has put into it kind of won't make that much of a scent for people and we allow ourselves to accept that now the reason why we accept each other here all today is because we are all human. Sometimes we want to do things, we don't want to do things, we take the time to not do them at all. But I am an adult today and what I expect is what I get. What I don't get is what I don't expect. And we all have that kind of person in our lives who comes to realize that you will finish what you start. When you start, you finish. If I, if you perform, if you practice, if you audition, we are always knowing that people are hiring, people are needing people, people are always here to join a certain type of community, whether if it's a bureau, whether if it's a business, whether even if it is um, uh, serving bartending whatever the situation may be today i am unsure of how people feel or how people act but life is very hard we know that it's hard because we can't get what we want and we know when we can't get what we want we begin to cry we begin to you know excite people who don't want to be excited so um i just kind of like that's my time you know to to kind of like open up to many different kind of like opportunities that i'm able to get in for my life it may you know it could be it could be the wrongest thing ever to do but then i pray every single day that it could be the right thing to do. We don't know that if we do put in the work or if we don't put in the work that it will benefit all of us. Now, you know, it's just like, it's very, it's very emotional, you know. I couldn't like always relate to a, um, somebody's memory box or something but then you know I'm that's not my uh, position in uh, the world <clears throat> and you know like missing people that you've never met is sounds like a rhino to me you know <laughs> because like it's like um, I don't know just like I can't imagine my life being or having somebody allowing themselves to like tell me like oh this is how you do it or this is how you don't do it or whatever and so on and so forth you know so it's very um yeah it's very hard and it's annoying but we if you put in that time that little what that little mexican you know like sense that we say that 
we have we don't have like you are you have to like believe in yourself you know like it sounds crazy but I, I I've, I've never met anyone in this world that would like just like not look at you and tell you like oh oh my god like that's just not how you do something <sighs> I don't know, I just like, so I went, I went to this casino website, right, and I definitely saw that they were selling ropes and a bunch of girly stuff and things like that, like, me as a person, I don't get jealous of those things, like, it's impossible for me to, like, sit there and be like, oh my god, I'm so jealous, you know, because... If I wanted to go buy a robe, I'd go buy it myself right now. But I'm not jealous because people have what they already need or what they don't need, you know? Like, I'm not jealous of it. I can't be jealous of something that I never had. And that is the moral of today's story. So, check your girl out. Whatever you need me, I will be there. I'm not complaining about anything when we see each other we will see each other again peace out